Hello everyone and welcome to another video on JavaScript programming. Kaushal this side from SimpliCode and today we are going to discuss sets in JavaScript. Sets in layman terms refer to a group of distinct values grouped together to form a collection. This definition is from high school and all of us know the basics about sets, right? So in this video, we'll go through the concept of sets in JavaScript. We'll see how sets are used in JavaScript and the purpose of using sets in JavaScript as well. So before we begin, make sure that you are subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss an update from SimpliCode. So without any further delay, let's get started. Set in JavaScript is an object that lets us store unique values inside it. We have seen the difference between maps and objects in JavaScript previously. So we know that maps are another type of object present in JavaScript and different from traditional objects. Now sets are similar to maps in JavaScript. It means that they are also objects, but they perform various activities other than maps. So the syntax is almost the same and even the properties are also the same to some extent. So let's take a look at sets in JavaScript. As we mentioned earlier, sets let us store unique values. It means that if we create a set and try to keep a single value inside the set more than once, it will not allow us to do so. So let's see an example of it first. What we'll do, we'll go to a JavaScript file and we'll write here where my set is equals to new. So here we'll write set and this is the syntax of sets in JavaScript. Next up, we'll write here console.log and we'll print my set. Fine. Now save it. And here we have created a new set and we don't have any values until now. We'll add values in a moment. So open the console on the browser. You will go to a browser and we'll open console here. So here you can see we have an empty set over here with no entries. If we click on it, you can see we have no entries, we have no properties and the size is zero. Now let's add some values to this set. What we'll do is we'll write here my set dot add and we'll add a value over here. So we'll do it for three or four values. We'll write here my set dot add. We'll write here two. We'll copy this, paste it here for two more times and we'll write here three and four. Fine. Now we have added these four values to our set, a basic task, right? The same add method we used for maps is what we did for sets as well. Now save it. And you can see here on the console that we have the size as four. Now you can see here we have values one, two, three and four and the size is also four. And we can add as many values as we want to our set, but we can't add any value to our set again. For example, if we write here, let's say if we are writing here, my set dot add, and then we'll write here three. Fine. What we are doing is we are trying to add three again to this set. Our set has a value three already. So this is the value three. Now it will not allow us to add three again save it and you can see we still have four values present in our set. The new value we added to our set is not present inside the set. You can see here we have one, two, three and four. This three is not added to our set. So this is the benefit of using sets in JavaScript. So let's take an example of an array as well. Let's say we have an array of some numbers and several elements in the array are repeating themselves. So let's create a new array here. What we'll do is we'll comment out this piece of code so that there will be no confusion for you guys and we'll create an array over here. So let's say this is an array with name ARR and we'll add elements to this array now. We'll write here 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3 and any values, any random values we are adding to this array. So you can see we have so many elements here which are repeating themselves like 2, 3 and 1 and so many elements, right? Now we have an array here and the elements inside the array are repeating, right? So we have two, three, four, so many times. Now what we want is we want unique elements from this array. Traditionally, we had to follow a particular pattern to achieve this task. 
wherein we had to iterate through each element in the array using nested for loop and we have to check if the element present inside the array are repeating or not quite a lengthy task right or a hectic task to do but with sets in javascript we do not have to follow this method anymore all we have to do is to pass that array as an argument to the set and we'll get the unique elements of the array so to do so we have to write here so let's say we have a set named my set 2 so this is a different set from the previous one we used we'll write here new set and we'll pass this array as an argument so we'll write here console.log and we'll write here my set 2 now save it and you can see we have all the distinct elements of our array you can see here we have 1 2 3 4 45 5 and 6 the size of the array is or we can say the size of the set is 7 fine we can also print this set again in the form of an array we just have to write here let my arr so this is a new array and we'll write here array dot from and now what we'll do is we'll pass this my set 2 as an argument to this array now we'll write here console.log and we'll print here my arr so this is our array save it and here you can see we have an array over here with all the unique elements we have 1 2 3 4 45 5 and 6 the length is 7 and here you can see we have the set in the form of an array fine we can also traverse all the elements present inside the set or array just by using the for off loop in javascript so we have to write here let's say for we'll take a variable let item of we'll use set this time we'll write here my set 2 and we'll print this item on console we'll write here console.log and we'll print item fine all of this is easy right you must have got it we have all the methods present for sets as well just like we had for maps in javascript now save it and here you can see we have all the elements of this particular my set so my set 2 consists of all the elements of this array all the unique elements we can say so here you can see we have 1 2 3 4 and all the unique elements of my set now if we comment out this or we can say if we are using an array in this for off loop if we write here my arr and save it here you can see the output still remains the same we have all the elements of array now we have all the elements of my arr and all the elements are unique now we can also delete a particular entry from the set by using the delete method the delete method is same for maps as well what we have to do is we have to write here my set 2 dot delete and we have to pass that particular element so let's say we want to delete 45 from this set now save it and what we'll do next is we'll print this set again and we'll write here my set 2 fine save it and here you can see we have the size as 6 now you can see we have the elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 45 is not present here and here you can see initially we had the elements as 1 2 3 4 45 as well so you can do it with the help of delete function in javascript now same thing we did for maps as well and if we want to delete all the entries from the set we can use the clear method what we'll do here is we'll write here my set 2 dot clear and we'll run this statement and we'll print set again fine we'll write here my set 2 save it and here you can see the size of this set is zero now if we comment out this piece of code as well now save it and here you can see we have the size of set as a zero this was initially showing the size of our set which was seven and if we click on this as well you can see we have no entries because it will not print any values once the clear method is executed by the system
so this is working totally fine now that we have covered almost every property of sets in javascript i think you guys will be able to use sets now as per your requirements so please try to do something different with sets in javascript and let us know in the comments what extra you learned about sets by yourself so that's all for this video guys see you in the next one where we will go through destructuring in javascript if you like this video do give it a thumbs up if you have any doubts do let us know in the comments below share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe simply code thank you